Our next and final speaker is Dave Patterson. Uh, Dave Patterson is a U.S. Air Force veteran, past president of the San Diego Veterans for Peace, uh, speaks on drones locally and is sought after source for print and television media for his knowledge and expertise on drones. He is also a local community activist. And here's to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> well, uh, 41 years ago, I was in Thailand helping prosecute the war against Vietnam. I looked, I saw an article in the Stars and Stripes newspaper, and it was about all the anti-war protests that were going on in this country, lots of them, and some riots. And I remember being proud, thinking that I was proud, because I was protecting those people's right to speak their truth to power, even though I disagreed with them at the time. Of course, what I learned later was that war had nothing to do with protecting our constitutional rights or American way, nothing. What it had to do with was profit. They had used that age-old profit calculation that always works, and they're using it again today, and they continue to use it. First, they instill fear. Fear that we're gonna lose our American way, our religion, our constitutional rights, something. Instill fear. Then they use deceit. They deceive us into thinking that if we don't go fight to protect those rights, we'll lose them. And then they start a war. And when we, people like me, go fight the war, the three dots are connected, and the profits for the people in the right places are immense. It's all about public money and private pockets. That's the game. Now recently, they changed that calculation from fear, deceit, war or conflict and profit to fear, deceit and profit. And they did that with the war on terror. Now they don't even have to declare war. Now with the war on terror, they just give the fear and deceit and then the president decides where the people go. The people make incredible profits over and over and over again. And the Congress doesn't even have to be involved. They wash their hands of it. The president does it all. But here today, tonight, I'm going to talk to you about another one, another move for profit making that is happening right under our noses. And it has to do with this technology. This is an MQ-9 Reaper drone. It is the weapon of choice used so far to kill about 4,700 people, about, maybe, we think, probably maybe 800 civilians, maybe 200 children, and maybe 60 high-level known terrorists. The rest of the people that died, we don't know, and apparently nobody cares. This is the weapon that the president uses when he decides that somebody doesn't get due process. This is the weapon that the president decides who lives and who dies. He's got a list, you know. If you're on the list, you're dead. Now this weapon, apparently though, the people that come up with all this profit-making scheme, the people in well-placed places, they maybe run out of ways to make money now. So they've come up with a new plan. And that plan is to deploy these things here on our turf. Now this plan, here's what we know about it. In this plan, the Congress has mandated the FAA to open the skies to 10,000 drones by the end of 2014, maybe as many as 30,000. They want the skies open to these things. <clears throat> maybe this one, smaller, whatever, different sizes. 10,000 drones. And we also know that they're projecting that there's gonna be $13 billion in sales of this technology in the next 10 years, largely for domestic law enforcement. Now, does domestic law enforcement need $13 billion worth of, of drones? Certainly not. And just to give you an example, $10 billion worth of this very expensive high-end drone is 500 of them. That's only $10 billion. So this new calculation works like this. Fear. How many people in America are scared today? They're loading up on guns right and left. They're scared of everything. The fear part's already in place. And then the deceit. Well, we don't have to send troops off to war. 
So maybe we can just deploy the drones, but there's something else in that connecting the dots for the profiteers to make that $13 billion. And that is deliberately tearing chunks out of the Constitution. The reason is because you can't fly one of these things over somebody's house or follow them around in a car and videotape them unless you take away the Fourth and Fifth Amendment protection for unreasonable search and for uh, not uh, delving into our private lives, our personal protection. Those two things have to go away. So this profit-making scheme, fear, the deceit part is now tearing up the Constitution, and then profit-making, the sell of $14 billion, or $13 billion worth of drones, that is dependent on them taking our Constitution apart. And they're going to do it unless we stop them. This is why Veterans for Peace in San Diego has taken up the cause to do something about this uncontrolled use of drones. The president should not be able to kill whoever he wants. He should not decide who gets due process. He should not be able to kill people at, on his whim. And they should not be able to fly these things over our country and tear up our Constitution. Now here's the other part of this though. The profit making part of the calculation is that this $13 billion that it's going to cost or they want to spend for the sales that they're projecting. Domestic law enforcement doesn't have $13 billion. Most municipalities and states in this country are broke. Where's the money going to come from? Our tax dollars. This Are they going to take our tax dollars and through Homeland Security grants or other type of, of uh, manipulation, outright purchases, they're going to buy these drones and they're going to give it to domestic law enforcement. Domestic law enforcement is going to fly them as an extension of the long arm of the law for the federal government and share whatever sensor information they get. This, my friends, is an assault on us and our freedoms. This is the fight that I thought I was fighting 41 years ago to protect the Constitution. It's right here now on our turf. And we're asking you to join us. So, Veterans for Peace has a lot of things going. We're out in front of General Atomics every uh, week. have been out there every Thursday for more than six months now. And we're demonstrating. And on April 4th, we're going to kick off the uh, No Drone Week or month of April. And there's a lot of things going on. In the month of April, you're going to hear a lot of news about demonstrations here in the U.S. and around the world on drones. We're asking for your support. To, uh, to, do, to help us with that. So be there on April 4th, it's Thursday at 3 p.m. And there's a lot of other things happening with the peace community uh, during that weekend. The other thing that I think that you have to do, I'm gonna ask you to do, is call your congressman and tell him we don't want one cent of federal money to be spent on this technology going to domestic law enforcement. They're untrained, they could give a damn less about our constitutional rights, and they shouldn't have no money, federal money, to buy this technology for domestic law enforcement. That's the first thing we can do. And the second thing we can do is hook up with us to try to get more restraints, some kind of oversight, law, legal oversight. The ACLU has a good list on their website about what to do. So for example, if somebody comes and wants to wiretap your phone, they need a court order or they go to jail if they're caught. It should be the same thing to surveil your property or follow you where you're going with this technology. Right now, there is no such legislation. It's, it's wild west. And they're dependent on us not fighting back. So, please join us at Veterans for Peace. Get the brochures out front there. Uh, this is a very important issue. We're not going to let the profiteers take our Constitution and tear it apart. The fight is here. Join us. We'll do it peacefully, and we'll be successful. Thank you.